Every pregnancy needs utmost care and attention. But certain pregnancies need a little extra attention. An RH negative mother carrying an RH positive baby is at increased risk of complications. BSV is at the forefront to ensure safe delivery in every RH negative pregnancy. So like 2021 was quite a good year for you, like uh, you also got nominated as a for the ICC ODI player of the year, you had found a lot of success. Now the fact that you did not play any ODI cricket uh, in 2020, how did that uh, like help you to like maybe did it help you to go back and find the basics and then come back this year or was it challenging to come back to ODI cricket once not having played for that long a time? Yeah, I think um, looking at, I guess, how 2020 went, um, obviously with COVID coming about and everything, not having many tours, uh, I think me personally, I definitely wanted to get back to ODI cricket after playing so much T20, if I'm being quite honest. Um, so yeah, I think from the beginning of 2021, um, I really wanted to set my focus in on ODI cricket and getting on some really good performances. Um, I had... I reckon probably a couple of technique flaws that I really had to work on and I guess I got a bit of time in 2020 towards the end especially to really do that. Um, so yeah, I think coming back to 2021 a bit more prepared and uh, yeah, I guess ready for ODI cricket was really good and yeah, I guess the results showed quite a bit. We started 2021 with a century uh, opening the batting as you have done. Uh, but with time, you came down to number five, and uh, your roles were changed. So, was it challenging? Firstly, was it how challenging it was? And secondly, what transpired that uh, change uh, that the decision was taken? Yeah, I think it was really about finding probably a good balance for the team. Um, I think obviously we have DeAndre Dotton, who's quite a dangerous player, um, no matter where she bats. But I think getting her in there in the power play was really, really important. And it shows because she did really well um, when she did come to open the batting. And then I think as a team, it gave us a bit more structure in the middle order, I guess, with myself, uh, Stefani Taylor. Right before me, we had Shemaine Campbell coming back in that was able to slot in at number six, um, which created a really good structure right through our batting order. Um, I think personally for me, um, at first I was a bit hesitant, I'm not going to lie about going down the order and so on, but, um, but I trust the coaching I trust the coaching staff around here and um, if, if, if they believe that that was what was best for the team at the time, um, I had all faith that uh, that was the case and yeah, I just really wanted to apply myself at number five, um, take up the new role and try to do as best as I possibly could and I think I had a really... I think I did a really good job, I guess, at um, adapting and yeah, I, I felt quite comfortable pretty early batting that fight, if I'm, if I'm being honest. So, let's just shift the discussion to the World Cup, uh, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to speak to you. Uh, by the time you guys touched down in New Zealand, uh, you guys would have played South Africa home and away and Pakistan home and away. And uh, one game uh, you guys played at that qualifier. So. Uh, would you say your team would have liked facing more of the top teams such as India, uh, England or Australia uh, heading into a World Cup year? Uh, I don't think necessarily. I think at the same time it was really, really good to uh, not only get games in but get some good confidence under our belts as well. Um, obviously we were able to do that last year winning a good set of our games. Um, and then look, this year, I think South Africa is quite a worthy opponent. Um, they've got some of the best stars in the game. And I think that's going to be the perfect preparation for us going into a World Cup to play against even better teams, like you said, like Australia and England. Um, so, yeah, I think our preparation is going to be quite fine. And we're really looking forward to the series and then getting straight into the World Cup. So, you play alongside probably the world's two most uh, experienced or in the sense, I would say, really good all-rounders. How do how how does the camaraderie work between you, Stefani, and uh, Adrienda? And how would you say that you guys, uh, when you guys look at each other and like as a trio, what are the thoughts that you have? I think what's really important for the three of us is that we try our absolute best to feed off of each other. Um, we realize we're not going to be able to have individually good days uh, every single day. 
Um, but I think it's really important that because there's three of us uh, that are quite capable all rounders, we can really lean on each other when we're not having the best day. Um, I think even myself, I guess, opening the batting with Deandra, a lot of the time in T20 stuff, um, she's obviously quite a dangerous opener, like we said before. And when I know that I'm not having the best day, it's easy for me just to get onto the other end and kind of admire what she's doing, which takes the pressure off of me. And I think it works vice versa for all three of us. So. Uh, in in this current West Indies team, you have like four off spinners, right arm off spinners, and there's another off spinner, left arm off spinner. So despite all these similarities, and I discussed this with Anissa as well, despite all these uh, similarities, there are still something that keeps you guys different from each other. How would you describe that? Firstly, and how do you still uh, think that you guys will have that edge uh, playing in New Zealand? I think if you look at it. Um... Even though, like you said, we're pretty similar, we all have our differences. Um, I, I guess even looking at a spin pair, like our spin trio, like myself, uh, Steph Taylor and Anissa Mohammed, we're three completely different off spinners. Um, Steph, we, we like to say she bowls drifters sometimes, not necessarily turning the ball. And then I guess myself, I'm going to be a bit quicker a lot of the time than Anissa would be per se. So I think we all bring something really different for the table different to the table how do you think how much do you think spin will play a factor in new zealand because uh, for all the cricket that we have watched in new zealand until now uh, seamers seem to get more off the wicket in those conditions than the uh, spinners uh well i guess we kind of have to wait and see i don't have too much experience playing in new zealand myself but like you said uh watching the bit of cricket that's been playing on there it has been pretty helpful for the uh for the paces but I think as the, at the same time as a spinning unit, we're probably just going to have to adapt a bit, um, try different bowling styles, um, and yeah, just see what works best. I guess that the first couple of games are going to be really important for us, um, even just the practice matches that we have down there to, I guess, figure out the conditions and what's best. So, looking back at uh, 2017, the World Cup in England, it, you guys did not have the best of World Cups was disappointing obviously after what uh, you guys had done so well in 2013 so is there a discussion that has been gone ahead of the preparations when it started uh, or is there some parts of the mistakes that you guys are looking that these are the mistakes and these are where the areas of concern and we will not repeat it heading into this world cup yeah like if i'm honestly speaking um i think probably around 2017 uh our odi cricket wasn't as up to par as it probably needed to be. Uh, I do feel like we're a lot more prepared now. Um, at the same time, it is going to be a pretty tough tournament, but that's all what World Cups are about. Um, you're going to have to go there and you're going to have to play your best cricket 90% of the time to be able to stand any chance at competing. And we're just really going to have to go out there and do that. Um, I think as we looked at, we had a pretty good 2021 against the opponents that we came up against. and. We just have to be able to try to take some of that form into the World Cup and put on some good performances and I guess be able to execute really well. Our senior players are definitely going to have to come out on the park and step up regularly. Um, but at the same time, I think going into the tournament as underdogs, I would say, um, is going to be pretty helpful for us. I guess it kind of eases a bit of that pressure off of our shoulders and yeah, hopefully we can create a lot of surprises and do really well. Every pregnancy needs utmost care and attention. But certain pregnancies need a little extra attention. An RH negative mother carrying an RH positive baby is at increased risk of complications. BSV is at the forefront to ensure safe delivery in every RH negative pregnancy.